Hello and welcome back to Hobby Crafts. How are you guys doing? Good, great. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm very, very stressed. Uh, listen, today's prompt was supposed to be Horizon, but gosh dingy dang it, I'm bored. I am bored of this Inktober list. It is not inspiring me. Uh, in this gap of days and you know what it is inspiring me a whole nother stinking list you know what I mentioned yesterday potentially doing uh, Ginger Ninja's uh, art challenge for the month uh, I finally remembered what it's called it's called the actually infected challenge and she puts a whole bunch of prompts of struggles that artists uh, you know struggle with and challenges us to fight those struggles and to for the her day two which is now my day 13 uh it's corrupted file now this may apply more to digital media artists who have tablets and uh drawing programs which i do have but I've actually never had a corrupted file experience before with my digital media expertise. Frankly, the only issues I have with digital media is really bad colors and um, just losing the file entirely. So I figured it could be kind of fun to just make a new character because I like I like characters. Characters are fun, especially if I can later turn them into a doll, which may be for this guy, but I'm not 100% on that because it seems to be a little bit of a different, difficult design. Uh, frankly, I was struggling kind of hard trying to figure out what I wanted to do, um, and this guy was a team effort between me and ChatGPT. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to ask ChatGPT for a bunch of prompts and not prompts, but um, like we were bouncing back and forth ideas of what corruption could mean for a character, and it was giving me some descriptions on how a character might look. And I was like, okay, but what if we made it more demon-esque? And it was like, ooh, cool yeah I have an idea and then it was just spitting out a whole bunch of really neat uh, potential ideas like it kept saying skeleton demon or glitchy demon uh, red and blue demon and it was it was kind of fun so I was like ooh yeah I'm I'm really inspired for this so he he this is the makings of that uh, I think uh, I just got a text message, sorry. <laughs> so far, so good. It was pretty fun to do. I, uh, I remember this trend going on for a while where you would take an art piece and you would uh, back and forth between red and blue. Like you would do red on all of the right sides of a black line and then you would do blue on the other side of the line. And then once you had done outlining everything, you would take like a white uh, acrylic marker or a gel pen, and then you would just make little dashes within it to kind of like, quote unquote, glitch it out. And so I was like, ooh, okay, what if we do that? But like, instead of the traditional red and blue, maybe we can do like a magenta demony reddish color with blue. And then instead of doing all of the lines one half this one half that what if we like shadow affect it where there's like a red light coming from behind him and like my brain just popped off with this kind of this you know team effort between the chat GPT and I and this prompt quote unquote prompt it's not very much a prompt it's a challenge a challenge of a challenge I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to word it I uh, I'm hyper <laughs> I really enjoyed this art and so I'm geeking out about it already um, 
So his name is Byte, B-Y-T-E. Um, it's not that creative of a name, I know, but I like it, and I'm going to keep it because why not? <laughs> he is my little corrupted, corrupted demon AI. Uh... The summary of his story so far is he was just a normal AI support program, kind of like Siri or Bixby or Alexa and all that jazz. Um, and due to his AI being self-improving, he started to look into horror movie genres around Halloween time and ended up looking at uh, AI-inspired horror movies and genres. And we're not 100% sure about it yet, but there is potentially an outside force that's in competition with Byte's creator who decided to leak uh, a virus code into uh, Byte's uh, original AI code, which uh, caused a severe corruption. And this is why we have our demonic boy now. I don't quite understand why he's demon-esque, but that's what we're going with because I like it. And I love him. He is so cool. Enjoy the montage. this video i hope you'll tune in for tomorrow maybe i'll follow the list maybe i won't we'll just have to wait and see then anyways have a beautiful creative day ttfn <laughs>